Hey, listener. First Encounter is an explicit podcast by grownups for grownups. Content warnings can be found in the episode description. Well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't 12 <laughs> soccer players walking up to my podcast. Look who the 12 cats dragged in. Is this you serving me my, my humble pie after being scorned for my opinions on deaths and fairies? Uh, do you want to let everyone know? What the consensus has been, Hanny, after our people reached out to us. The overwhelming consensus was that no, fairy deaths do not count towards a death counter. And therefore, I am incorrect. Uh, and I was rudely reminded of uh, how Phoenix Down works in Final Fantasy VII. And uh, it was very rude. I saw you here crying. I- yeah, here I am. It was unnecessarily mean. Just e- eating my humble pie, crying. Uh, While Chris yells at me. It's It's, all over your face. I didn't even know what humble tasted like. How does it taste? Bad. I don't like it. You know me and my pride. Yeah, okay. (laughs) A Saiyan always has his pride. Oh, am I right? So (laughs) here we are heading in tailwind at our back. I don't know if that's what that means. I'll accept Uh, it. Into episode 16 where Chris uh, shows his leap programmer skills and... uh, we get through this temple. <laughs> yeah. The show must go on, unfortunately, for <laughs> everyone, everyone really. involved. <laughs> the world at large. Uh, Here we are. Here we are. But before we get into any of that nonsense, Chris, we got some, some folks I'd like to thank. So this week, we want to send a huge thank you to all of our X-Potion tier members like Josh, Joan, Fumbling4 and the Almighty Crit, Cody, Caladria, Brendan, Ben, and Alex. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, we also have our producers to thank. Whoop, whoop. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. J, Denise, and August. We love to see you. making the dream. Uh, I was going to say dream work makes the cream work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's what they say. Yeah. Them, them being us now from now on. Can we have a t-shirt that says teamwork makes the cream work or dream Absolutely. work makes the cream work? I don't really care. I all just, of it. I I'll, just, just yeah. put it all on there. Yeah. Team cream makes the dream. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait oh, a minute. I'm, I'm, switching our, I'm switching our extra life to <laughs> team cream. <laughs> yeah, that seems appropriate for a children's fundraiser. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if we've actually mentioned, but we should probably say that we uh, are back for Extra Life this year, uh, as we have been for the previous two. Year three? You excited? I can't I'm believe pretty excited. this will be year some... three. Shut up. I'm sorry. I'm speaking. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, year three. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you know what's more exciting than that is the cool cool stuff we're working on for it. Uh, what, uh, what are we working on for it? So we actually have goals this time. Ah, you know, Chris, you've always told me that I need a goal in life. I'm glad that you're here to help me orchestrate them. No, what I've said was you need new goals because your goals concern me. Yeah, that's fair. (laughs) Massively. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, for Extra Life, we got, uh, some stretch goals. So if we make it to $500, uh, of course, all to charity, we're going to do a nice chill relaxing wholesome tea stream time we're just oh. gonna play some pleasant games we're gonna have a good time uh and we're just gonna be overall happy drink drink some tea yeah maybe get some boba can we enforce happiness can we just yell you have to be happy at each other if one of us isn't having fun <laughs> i assume that's <laughs> primarily uh, how we would approach it yes. yeah all right fair <laughs> perfect uh that sounds lovely what else we got uh, if we can reach a thousand dollars for <gasps> extra life uh, by the end of the year, I've been told that you're gonna lead me in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm gonna take your hand. To be fair, I think I said tabletop RPG just in case we don't want to uh, use the... associate with Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> no, I, I don't really care. Uh, well, actually, maybe I don't know. Um, that's I'm a, sure that's fine. a game for big old nerds, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah, uh, I want to take Chris on his first uh, TTRPG adventure uh, with me as the Dungeon Master and Chris as a player, hopefully not the only player, but potentially the only player. Uh, It's just going to be four of me. I'm going to be playing four different characters. That actually sounds like a nightmare. (laughs) And it may or may not be D&D. We'll see. Uh, Hopefully we hit the goal and then uh, have a little time to think about uh, what engine we want to use, etc., etc. But yeah. Go uh, head over to our Extra Life page. Uh, I'm sure the link will be in the description. You can toss us some money, and we can toss that money to 
extra life, and then we can toss you some sillies and funsies. I'm really excited. Yeah, me too. Should be a blast. Do we have uh, any idea what we're playing? Uh, yeah. The way we're choosing the games that we're going to be streaming this year is entirely through donations. So when you donate, just drop a comment and let us know what game you're voting for us to play. And however many dollars you donate, that's how many votes that game will get. I, I've fixed all that, though, so we already know everything that's coming up. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. Don't, mm. don't email me. Mm. I Please. assume you're cutting most of this. <laughs> well, uh, what fun that is. Um, so, yeah, to summarize, I've come out on top of the great fairy debate, as was foretold. Yeah, I always assumed that Chris would be coming on top of the fairy. And on top of you. Please. As we are now. But, Hanny, you know what's better than crunching down on juicy fairies? What's that? Uh, to consume their souls? Crunching down on liquefied coffee beans? Yeah, I was going to say sucking down the coffee bean soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We said the same thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, this week, I'm going to have an anecdote for y'all. My father-in-law has started drinking Uncommon Coffee from our wonderful sponsor, UncommonVT.com. And uh, it's turned him into a massive, massive coffee fan. He We call them coffee heads. Wh- it, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, has since purchased a very nice uh, coffee maker. Uh, I, it's very complicated. It has like multiple like spouts and things. I don't really understand it. I'm not going to lie to you. Chris would probably know what it is. I'll find the name. Chris will figure out what it is and tell you next time. Maybe if we even remotely remember this. <laughs> It's now his entire identity. <laughs> it's it's all we uh, ask for, and hopefully, eventually, uh, the world will be overtaken by coffee blooded uh, drinkers out there. That's what I that's what I hope for. So, if you listener want to be like my father in law, go to uncommonvt.com, go to the store page, check out some of their delightful wares, some coffee, maybe a t shirt. Enter that promo code, good good, all one word. You'll get ten percent off your order. Who doesn't love 10% off of coffee? I know I do. So head over to UncommonVT.com today and buy some coffee. Hell yeah. Boy, you know, Hanny, all this talk of uh, grinding and bean sucking has really reminded me of why we're here in the first place, you know? I forgot. What is this podcast about? Well, I think it's about time we dive back into a frankly terrible temple. Yeah, no good. But hey, at least we're here together. Thanks for for being here, folks. And here we go. (laughs) you all tweet at us at one st encounter pod and tell us if chris gets saved after a death by a fairy does it count no that's a one yes that's a one up it doesn't matter. You died still. I didn't die. I you didn't died stay and dead. came back. What is dead can never die. Thanks so much for listening to the first encounter. But the reason I brought that up, Hen, is because if you do put two alternate death counts, I want the fairy one to be you, like, squished down with those stupid lost fairy faces. Yeah. With your big old booty out. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Me as a fairy? Yeah. Just, like, circling your little link head? Yeah. Yeah, all right. I can do that. Yeah. That's what I want. All right, fair. Uh, so we maybe ratchet a death counter up by one or a fairy booty death counter up by one. Who knows? Tweet at us. Yeah. You got another stray fairy after this point, but who fucking, fucking cares? What? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So at this point, you make your way into a side room off of the central chamber on, I think, the, th- the second or third floor. Doesn't really matter. And that offshoot has a button in it that you haven't pressed yet. When you press that button, a central pillar just rockets up from the center of the room yeah. kind of connecting stuff for you at the top where you can like jump between like platforms now. But it also means that all the lower floors of the central chamber that were previously accessible are all fucking cut off. And now you can't do shit if you fall down. Uh, it seems like you're crushing it now that you got fire arrows. Yeah, I've basically figured it out. I'd say so. So uh, what rooms haven't you been in at this point? Nothing. I've been in everything. Ah, excellent. What's this? You got a fairy. I don't care. Ah. 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 It's all coming together now. Ah. Oh, nailed it. That was a good... Ah. Whoa. Ah. 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 What the fuck just happened? (laughs) Flying pots. I didn't know there were mimics in this. I also didn't. I don't give a shit about these poopy fairies. Stray fairy. Fuck. Can you... Get down there, Link. 
<laughs> get down Link. there. Link, get the fuck down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were gonna roll straight up for a second. I was really stoked about it. That would have been ideal. Yeah. I feel like if you have spikes, they should spike you up. You yeah. Know? Stick yeah. in and then you go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Just like real life. Like a caterpillar. Yeah. Yeah. If I wrote a word for you, I want you to, s I want you to say it for me. You wrote caterpillar. No, I didn't. I already know. No one knows how to pronounce this word in the world. I do. Um, it's, it's knowledge has been lost to time, but this is, this is what your spikes reminded me of. Penis? All right, you nailed it. <laughs> I told you I know how to pronounce it. Uh, the word I wrote Pitons? was P-I-T-O-N-S, which is either pittons or pitons, and I've heard both, and I have no idea which it is. Sound off in the comments below. Huh? Oh. Ah. Here I am now. Raised up, as they say. You raise me up so Whoa. I can jump across chasms. You raise me up so I can stand over here. Ah. Whoever designed this fucking dungeon. I'm not talking about the game designers. I'm talking about whoever designed canonically in game this dungeon and built the like floor plans for it. Oh, you mean like fucking like whatever monster Goron yeah. was just like, I'm doing this. Like whatever architect was like, yeah, Awful. this is how we build this temple now. Yeah, no good. So you move on to trying to figure out basically what to do with the central column now. And you figured out that if you're a Goron, you can like punch pieces out of it like Jenga. Yeah. So if you think of the central pillar as like a Jenga tower, it has like slices of ice that it's made up of. It's not all the way through slices of ice. So you can't knock the whole thing out, but you can knock bits of it down. You can make it shorter or um, you can like go and press the button to raise it back up. Yeah, you did that whole bunch of that. You had to punch that tower. So you were able to move up a floor. And at this point, you started going off of the rooms uh, in this floor central tower and uh you fight two dinolthos uh your favorite yeah. um this how, fight was what, rough for you no no no. we're gonna pause here hey yeah. how do you th how would you say i did why don't you describe the fight for our listeners from uh, your perspective uh i think i opened up by saying i've never seen you use your shield in this game yeah sounds familiar and then you were like i don't need it as you pull it out and start using it <laughs> um it was basically just Chris aggressively getting attacked from both sides <laughs> and missing and swinging at each Dinalthos like at the wrong time. So they just kept like dodging back and like obviously you're outnumbered so it's unfair anyway by design, but it could have been better. <laughs> I don't know. As soon as I was a Goron, it was no problem. Well, at then all. you transformed into a Goron and you were like it just started punching them. Yeah, what do you want? Figured this out. What do you have to do? You got to punch it. Punch what? Uh, this, this ice. Why? Because it breaks. Ah. But I'm not sure how high I want it. What level am I on right now? Can you take me higher? Get up there. <laughs> Just walk into a... Whoa. Maybe you didn't see me. No, no. He's, he saw <laughs> you. It's a Dinalthos. Uh, there's two of them. There's two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. There's two of them. There's two of them. Walk on. I haven't seen you use your shield at all in this game. Why would I? Ah, there you go. Jesus Christ. All right. All right. <laughs> Punch him. Punch. Falcon. Punch. Falcon butt. Booty him. Show him your butt. I think from this point on, you started changing into a Goron anytime you needed to fight a Wolfos or a Dinalthos yeah. because you were just like, I'm not doing this as a human. Mm, it's much better. <laughs> Have you considered doing it as a Deku scrub? Absolutely not. <laughs> you picked up a couple more stray fairies and then you melt some ice and go into a new room. And it's fucking Wizrobe again. Oh, God. So this is a bigger room. And Wizrobe has uh, kind of more tiles to move between. Yep. So go ahead and hit me with the, the descriptor of this room. I mean, it's like a rectangular shaped room. There's a bunch of teleporty panels all so over the place. So eight, I think, instead of four now. Yeah, maybe. Um, and there's also a little raised ledge that you figured out. If you could like stand in the right spot on, he basically just can't hit you and you can just shoot him. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you won. Cool. Yeah. So you head into a room that is just a whole bunch of independent floaty blocks of ice that you can jump between and three of those have empty Bras. torches on oh, <laughs> torches yeah. on them and it's 
pretty clear, I think, that you need to light those. There are Freezards in this room, though, so you have to kill the Freezards first. So yeah. you do that. Easy. And then there's a door that's barred over with uh, iron bars, but not locked. And then there's a door that's frozen over. So you melt the frozen over door with a fire arrow, and you find out that it's just unlocking a shortcut back to the central chamber. Uh, so you're like, all right, how the fuck do I get this uh, other door open? I'm so used to playing a Zelda game that it was painfully obvious to me immediately that you just light the three torches and the bars go up. No, I mean, I, fe- I feel like I figured that out. It took a minute or two. <laughs> it took me a minute because I didn't realize they were going out. Yeah. So Of course they do. Also, it bothered me how you didn't go just next to the door and shoot them from the door. No. Um, but yeah, that's fine. That's the wrong spot. All right. Ah. So here we got a bunch of these freeze boys. You don't love them. No. And there's platforms that drop into nothing good. No. There's uh, empty torches, too. Can I light those torches? Maybe. If you hit them, maybe. There you go. Ah, chest. Chesty. Give me my chesticle. Oh, the torches aren't lit anymore. Ah. Strange. I'm sure but, that's a reasonable explanation. There's always a reasonable explanation. Annie. I'm sure there's an unreasonable one, too. All right, I'll come back here. But let's see what this... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, this just connects to the other door I unlocked. <laughs> you piece of shit. What? Chris is standing directly under a torch to shoot the arrow Ooh. into his ult. Uh, I got to do it faster. Oh, interesting. What do you think happens when you do it? Uh, I'm hoping the locked door opens up. We'll see. Yeah. Seems like there's only one intelligent way to do this, then, if that would be the case. Like that? Yeah, close. Like that? Nailed it. Oh, Nailed wow. it. Easy. Whoop. G, G, fucking easy. Pumpkin squeezy. Don't do that. That stresses me out. I know I'm trying to. We lit the bras on fire and we went through the door. Yeah, right. You go in and you you get a boss key. You got the boss key. Yeah. Excellent. And at this point, now that you have the boss key, you're like, okay, what do I got to do still? I'm going to take a few minutes. And we started trying to do Lost Chest Roundup. This is your fucking fault. I would have been fine just wrapping up this temple. I am temple. a completionist, and it really fucking bugs me when people leave like treasure behind in games and stuff. Like, fucking go get it. Get The treasure yeah. is yours. Go I'm, fucking I'm not going to accommodate it. you anymore. Go get the treasure. I will not. How do I get... Where's the other keys, though? All right. Let's look at this map, see what rooms I missed. Ah. Uh, Shesty's in. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Listen, I haven't been backtracking. Ah, it's almost morning of the third day. God damn it. What a treat. Because big Gorons can't jump. Can't I hope jump. you know. I... Ah, dawn of the final day. 12 hours remain. <sighs> Ah, there's, there's a chest, chest in, in here. here. All right. Interesting. Ah, where is it? Is it there? I mean, hmm. I can see where it is, but... Can you? Yeah, look, it's on your map. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, you're not helpful. Point at it. It's You're pointing at it right now, apparently. So if it's not right there, it's probably on the ground, maybe? I don't know. Oh, it's not on this floor. Can't Ooh, believe fucking this. liar. Just trying to help you learn, Chris. Booty, 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 booty. Trying to help you learn to... It's okay to walk around and use your map and explore things. I'm going to teach you how to play adventure games one of these days. I play point-and-click adventure games. One pill makes you smaller, one pill makes you larger. Huh? Huh? No. Don't bother me. Wait, I'm pretty sure yes. This one. Yeah. No. Ah. It wasn't that other room where you bombed the This end one. And it had the stairs up? Yeah, Henny, I've figured it out. Sorry. Sorry. I know exactly what I'm doing. Mm. Why won't I roll up the stairs? Because it's a cutscene animation. Where am I? <laughs> Near a chest. Help. Uh, so you ended up... Um, yeah, tell me what treasures I got. These Annie. are the. I have three notes. All right, yep, I, I'm just yep. gonna. I want to read the notes because it's perfect. Okay. All right. So line one, lost chest roundup. Line two, dungeon key. 
Not bad. Okay. Line number three, Stray Fairy. Mm, not your favorite, but whatever. Line number four, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, <laughs> you said fuck that, and you make your way up to the boss room. So wait a minute. There's a reason. I just want to make it clear. There's a reason I said fuck that to getting all the chests. We spent a good chunk of time on this. Probably an hour. What I got was what you've read. A stray fairy, a key. And that key, for the record, just unlocks another shortcut. Yeah. That's how you get it complete. But also, it was like 7 p.m. on the third day at this point. Yes, that is true. Yes. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go after the boss because don't got time for this anymore. No, you didn't have any time for this. Ah, Ah, you got a small key. Nice. Well, that's better than a fairy. What the fuck do you think this does? I assume it opens one of the doors that you wanted to open. Uh, you've definitely been in here before, I'm what pretty the sure. the fuck? I think it's just a shortcut room, maybe? I'm not sure. I wasted my key on that? Maybe. All right, Hanny, this chest is going to determine if I look for the other chests. Yeah. Based on how good it is. I mean, I'm. it's either going to be a stray fairy or a dungeon key. So. Uh, I would love a heart piece, actually. <laughs> You're not going to get that from a treasure chest, buddy. <laughs> I would discount you having any more heart pieces, honestly, <laughs> with how you play the game. How dare you? You don't you don't like doing the heart piece stuff. What are you talking about? Well, you run from enemies, you, you just you hate it all. Ah! Stray fairy, let's go. <sighs> nice. Can't believe it's noon on the final day. Yeah, I'm aware. Alright. Alright, so I think we're down to what, two chesties? Just one? Ah, just one, just one, just one in a boss. Let's go. We Where got am I this. Where supposed no to get problem. the rest of the fairies? Uh, probably from fighting enemies that you've been running away from. Motherfucker. Or smashing pots, or doing any number of things, looking under stuff. I'm not saying that there's a fairy in this room with this wolfos. I want you to know. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. I have no idea. Henny, you promised me there would be a fairy. I never said Penny, that. Henny, you said. Never said anything of the sort. You said there would be a fairy right there for me. I said to the way you, in my pocket. The way you play games is not conducive to how <laughs> this game is supposed to be played. What are you talking about? <laughs> run, run away and Where never Where the fuck return. am I? You're on uh, floor two or three. Who gives a shit? I don't know. <laughs> how are we doing? I don't know. I'm lost. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do again. So I'm not sure. Nailed it. What? I'm just dreading that we're gonna have to redo the whole temple when we get to the end of the day. You think I can make that from here? Oh yeah, you got that, no problem. You can you got this. You got this, Angel Dust. Only the penitent man shall pass. Oh, what? That was bullshit. Well, that's enough of that. Yeah. Gonna go uh, fight fight some boss. Who needs heart pieces, huh? You said it wouldn't be a heart piece. Well, if you get enough fairies, it's probably a heart piece. Fuck you. <laughs> what do you want from me? You unlock the boss door and you are deposited into a room. Describe the boss. I actually, so this is my favorite boss design. Well, let's let's enter boss room. Yeah, enter me. Uh, you enter Hanny, and what you see is a enter comma Hanny or no? No. Okay, excellent. Uh, what are these animals called? They have the two hooves. Ungulates. Ungulates. Yeah. Yeah. You see uh, what seems to be a hoofed mammal. A hoofed mammal is what ungulate means, or ungulate. Yeah. Pretty sure it's ungulate, but not good sure. undulations. Good vibe. Horses. Good. <laughs> so just tuck my penis here. <laughs> Put on my lipstick. <laughs> Would you fuck me? I'd, I'd fuck, fuck me. me. Uh, Goodbye, horses. <laughs> anyway. We're losing our minds here. Yeah, it's been a long day. We're almost there. Let's just. So you come into the boss room and you got a hoofed mammal uh, frozen solid behind ice. So this is masked mechanical monster goat. G-O-H-T. Yeah. Not to be confused with G O A T. Yeah, like Tom Brady. I'm just fucking kidding. I don't. I do not like Tom Brady. I'm just fucking kidding. Sorry. Shut up. They just everyone calls him the goat. I don't I know. Don't care. All right, Penny. that's fair. 
Uh, set Christopher. So <laughs> Says, this... unless you're talking about my favorite esports guy, Cloud Nine or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, Cloud Nine. Is that a guy? I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I don't follow esports. I just assume you do. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so this is my favorite boss in uh, Majora's Mask. All right. Yeah. Can I interest you in that? Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. So this boss, it looks like a horse. Oh, holy shit. It's a lot bigger than I thought. Oh, it doesn't look like a horse. It has a no. face. No. His name's Goat. Masked mechanical monster Goat. Yeah. So Goat, contrary to the name, actually looks more like a bull shaped. It's got a bullish body, I would say. Yeah. And then it's a fucking human face. So yeah, human oid face. The boss designs in this are really cool. Yeah. Um, I like it more than what I've seen in... Ocarina of Time, for sure. I would agree with that statement. Yeah. But, yeah, fucking here we go. So this is essentially rollerball. You're in a round chamber that has a central column, so you have to go around it like a ring. Like, uh, it's essentially like a, a roller derby ring, right? Yeah. Um, or rollerball, like that old James Conn movie. Yeah. Or a uh, horse racetrack. Yeah. And... It, or you, a human racetrack. Or a donut. Or a car racetrack. Yeah. NASCAR. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the mechanic for this is really just roll. Yeah. That's it. Don't stop rolling. Don't stop rolling. Baby. <laughs> uh, so Chris, you rolled. I rolled. You I, rolled I, a lot. So I rolled my hardest. So rolling uses magic, and there are random spawn points of uh, magic pots that give you magic refills. So no problem there. No. Uh, there's also two pots that will give you nothing but arrows. <laughs> Problem there tight. because there's no hearts in this chamber at all. Strange decision. Chris is also at four hearts, uh, listeners, for his uh, max, max, heart, yeah. max heart limit. So hits hurt quite a bit. Yeah. Goat has some interesting mechanics, too. Um, as he's running, he's kicking up boulders. If those boulders hit you while you're rolling, they'll knock you out of your roll, but not do damage, right? No. Also, it's the lag tights will fall from the ceiling these are actual stalactites because they're not ice right yeah yeah uh these will fall from the ceiling and also knock you out of a roll or if you run into them once they're already in the ground will also stop your roll yep um and then goat can just also fire fucking lightning balls at you yeah uh so and these are significantly more dangerous than any of the of the other projectiles because they seem to almost follow you a little bit they have a slight semblance of heat seeking to them yeah it seems like yeah which isn't good. No, 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 no bueno. He also, if you are not uh, spike ball rolling. He'll just trample you. He'll just source. trample you. Yeah. yeah. So you have to have magic. So you have to be able to get your spikes out as you're rolling as Goron. Otherwise, you just you do not stand a chance. Also, after a certain time of dealing damage to him, he starts just shitting bombs. Literally, bombs will just fall off of his backside. Yeah. There's I, no other way to put and, it. And That's what's happening. A very short fuse. They blow up like within seconds. So... You got nailed a lot by those two. Sure um, did. So you get the boss key music, the bring, and then we get our sweet music playing, those horns that we love. You started rolling. He's avoiding all the magic pots as one does when they don't want to uh, keep up their keep up their magic. Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Yeah, there ah, you go. So there's some jumpies. Ah! All right, all right, Chris is catching up. Oh, get his booty. Ooh, he's hurting him now. He's hurting him now. On the surface, he looks calm and spaghetti. Spaghetti on my surface already. Oh, oh. ow. Uh, so Chris got tasered by the goat. Ah, there he is. Boom. Ah, this boss is easy. It's a bull, not a horse. It's a goat. No, it's a bull. His name's Goat. Penny. What do you want? I think I know the difference between a bull and a goat. Chris, you're a vegetarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Goat, I don't have time. How's your health doing? Bad. I have one and a half hearts. And I'm also running out of time of day. Yeah. Is there not a way to get hearts back in this? There's uh, there's pots that you keep driving by. Really? Yeah. Oh, when you come into the room? Yep. <laughs> Boom. Right here. Left. Nice. Arrows. Arrows. Nice. Excellent. Where is that goat? Where that bad boy? Where where that go, good boy go? Where Hello, my good, good boy? Where my good goat at? Where my good goats? Not my bad goats, just my good goats. I think he's chasing you. Who's chasing whom? <laughs> ah, there he is. Ah, I thought you could get away from me, did ah. you? Come here, you. Come here, you. 
Yeah, give me that booty. Hello? Are you throwing bombs at Did me? Did he just throw a bomb at you? Not on my watch! <laughs> Ow. Uh, well, a little bit on your watch. Apparently. On my watch, occasionally. And then you died. I, I, I did die. Yeah, but it's okay. No problem. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. So uh, run back up there. Run back up. You, you get everything. Well, wait a minute. I have to pause here. It does start you at the beginning of the temple, doesn't it? So here's what happened. I can't lie to our dear listeners. I'm being entirely transparent with you. After the first death, it was 9 p.m., and I said, well, I feel like I should probably reset time and just, like, sprint back up. And, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely should do that. Yes. So you, uh, after your first death, you were like, fuck it. I'm going to, I'm going to Song of Storm back to Clock Town and deposit my rupees, which you did get the adult wallet for. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I and felt like, time. yeah, because it felt like the boss was absorbing quite a lot of damage. Yeah. And I had spent enough time chasing him that I was pretty I think it was 10 p.m. when you got back to clock town yeah and i was pretty sure that if i went another go at it the moon would come crashing down so you have till 6 a.m not midnight by the way oh shit okay i didn't realize that uh yeah so when it when it hits 6 p.m it says 12 hours remain okay yeah well fuck well let's beat this bad boy hopefully before the moon crashes yeah uh, you got it. here i am yeah uh if i'm already here should i just reset time and like sprint right back up it might not be a bad idea if you can uh, song of soaring yourself to Clocktown real fast. Do I have to go back to Clocktown? You'll it'll put you to Clocktown anyway. I guess I could deposit my ninety nine rupees. Yeah. You've already saved up two hundred rupees. Yeah. Where, little guy. Oh, you got the adult wallet. This wallet is for adults only. Adult sack. All right. Calm All right. down. I'm gonna try something real quick. What are you gonna try? I want to see if I can get into Anju's storeroom. Because if I can snag a silver rupee and then deposit more before I reset time, that'd be swell. I'm not mad at it. Should I feel bad about that? No, no. You could uh, check your bomber's notebook real fast, too, and see who else can take some no, help. No, Hanny, I'm not getting distracted now. I was just saying. Not getting distracted there's like now. four, five characters? No. Okay. We'll be back here. Don't you worry. I don't want to go back to Snowhead. It's bad there. So we go back to Clock Town. I deposit all 99 rupees because I was maxed out on my tiny kid wallet. Which uh, you already had 111 rupees. So that put you up to 210. Hell and yeah. He was like, oh my God, you've already deposited 210. I got to give you a gift. Here, yeah. you're so rich. You need a, you're need you not a little kid. You need this adult wallet. I got my adult sack. So you can hold 200 rupees now. Yeah. That's pretty fucking cool. It is pretty cool. Yeah. You know what's even cooler than that? What's that? If you roll up to the fucking crockpot inn or whatever. Yeah. Stockpot sock inn. In. Yeah. <laughs> and you go and uh, you just maybe, you, maybe, maybe you were just aware that there was a wedding dowry or funds or whatever the fuck is in the yeah, employees only room. In the employees only room, which is probably abandoned this late on yeah. day three. Nobody else seems to be up. So yeah. it's kind of really safe keepings, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like yeah. if they're leaving it there, then who knows who's going to wander in and just no, yoink it I up. Mean, is the moon gonna use it? I grab uh, Anju's wedding funds again, again, and that's, deposit them. That's a hundred rupees right there, baby. Again, <laughs> <laughs> you head back up to Snowhead, and Big Goron's back, breathing. Yeah, that's hmm. not that's not, uh, not quite right. A little suspicious because we already got rid of him. Yeah, but you did reset time. Yeah, yeah. But maybe yeah. that's all that reset. Yeah, no it, problem. I, oh, an entire temple wouldn't reset, surely. Your fairies all went away. Your stray fairies. I don't give a shit. Something tells me you don't care. Fuck off, dog. You're very rude. Why is it only... Oh, my God. I do have to do everything. Yeah. What did you want? <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's GG easy. You got this. Uh, so the only things you keep are the large key items that you get, which are a map, a compass, and if you got the special item from the temple, which in this case is the fire arrows. So Chris has his fire arrows, he has the compass, he has the map, but he's lost all other progress. All the doors are relocked. All the doors are relocked, all the ice is regrown, all the enemies are back. I don't know what else to say. How are we going to do the talk through for the temple? Uh, poorly, probably. Give me something to talk about. How about love? Do you know what my favorite part about this is? This means that you spent three days in this place by yourself. All right, let's go back to Clock Town. We're going to have a real Clock Town yeah. time. Yeah. Ah, we're here. Where the fuck is my arrows? What do you mean? You didn't buy any. <laughs> What'd you want? 
You gotta get to the boss so you can get those arrows from that boss. Uh, <laughs> give me something to talk about! How will them live? Ah! Some magic, eh? Shut the fuck up. There must have been some magic in that old cell that they Shut found. up! No, I'm having a great time. Must have been some magic, magic in, in those old, old silk tights he wore. <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't know, everyone, uh, at the time of this recording, it is in fact Christmas. <laughs> I don't know what fucking day it is. Like April third. <laughs> sure. <sighs> you yeah, right, I can't wait for the actual water temple. Technically, they're all water temples. Stop telling me that. It upsets me. I don't know how else to tell it to you. It's a swamp temple, an ice temple, and a water temple. What do you want? <laughs> ah, you ran out of magic. Motherfucker. <laughs> We're having a fun time. Ah! This is what we call Christopher breaking. How do you feel about your resource management? Positive. Yeah? I don't think I could have done it better. Nah. Okay, because you already have solved this, wouldn't it make the most sense to stand next to the door and then shoot all these? Hey. All right, never mind. <laughs> it was just a thought. <laughs> My apologies. I don't know what I was thinking. You know what would be a really fun game to play together, actually, as bonus for uh, Zelda? What's that? Caden Cadence of Hyrule. What the fuck is that? It's a rhythm-based Zelda game. Why can't you get out? I'm not sure. We're going to go through this one and see if that fixes it. Oh, yeah, Christopher. Oh, yeah, just bouncing. Bouncing rollies. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Huh. Hmm. Huh. Here we are. Hmm. This is Chris, and he slams. <laughs> this Goron's got a slamming bod. Yeah, I'd say so. Can't can't believe it's gonna be day three by the time we get back there again. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare. You remember when they were making uh, pinball games for everything? Oh, I love pinball. There's like a Pokemon pinball game and a Sonic pinball game. Yeah. And... There's a Sopranos pinball game too. I'm getting sick of hearing about the Sopranos. <laughs> Uh, I just you haven't it. told me anything about it, but I'm tired of it. I've literally just said I enjoyed it, and I started it. Well, that's enough. <laughs> that's, that's, that's enough out of that's you, That's enough Hanny. out of you. We make it up to the... Back up to the boss. Put on your Goron mask, and you start rolling. Hell yeah. Get under his legs. Trip him. Ooh. Where does that lightning come from? His boot. His booty. <laughs> Bo booty his hole? little booty booty hole. Slash ate a string the other day. Oh, God. And his poop was on the string, and just he was walking around outside with just a string out of his asshole, and then like a turd swinging from the bottom of it. I had to put a uh, poopy bag over my hand and pull it out of him. Dogs are really a triumph, aren't they? Oh, uh, yeah. We definitely should have kept breeding them forever. <laughs> that horse is going too fast. Catch him. Horse! Ah, oh, there he is. Ah, oh, you died again. Oh, motherfucker. I don't want to. You have to. I don't want to be here. Why won't it just start me outside the boss? That's not how games work. Why won't it just fucking do it for me? And then you die. Yeah, I mean... I was just, I was getting back into it. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was coming an, off, surely, it's fine. Surely, coming off frustration. Next time it'll be fine. It'll yeah. be fine. I got my groove on. Yeah. So we we come back. We're still day one. No problem. Easy. Chris has time slowed down. Uh, it's like 11 a.m. Not even. I don't think. It's fine. We'll it's be whatever. Here. It's not a big deal. So you enter the boss chamber. We start rolling. Yeah, you gotta. Hurry, chase after it. Even if it means throwing your own body into it, do it so it'll stop. <sighs> I guess, yeah. Yeah. Don't know what I expected. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Are we? Yeah. Get him. Throw your body into him. Ah, oh, zapped. In today's episode of Playing Games, will Chris learn to dodge? Uh, I was trying to listen to Tattle. Don't do that. Shouldn't know what she's saying. And you died. Oh, that's awkward. Yeah. No, it's fine. Next I mean, no, no. Yeah. Best, yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Third it'll time's fine. the charm, yeah. always. So... You make your way back up to the boss, open the door. He's running. Yeah. You got to start rolling. And you start rolling. 
and he nailed it this time. Oh, thank fucking God. So if I had to brutal. listen to another minute of this episode. Yeah, this was a brutal <laughs> boss fight. It took Chris a while. But the last uh, go through, I will give you this. Uh, you only lost one heart container. Easy. Uh, the whole the whole way through. Yeah. Which was much better. I was uh, just drawing it out for the episode sick. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the five hours of gameplay and the two hours of this talk through you have to edit now are just fine. ideal. Yeah. I'm sure. Uh, you crush him. Yeah. Easy. Uh, GG, easy. He collapses, blows up. I want cow mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get stuck right there. Oh, yeah! nailed it. Good job, dude. Hell yeah. Oh! Can't believe we're about to face his second form. Oh my god, how mad would you be? So I get some sweet goat remains. Yeah, you get some goat remains and you get a heart container. So your max hearts are leveled up to five now. And uh, you get, you get, yeah, you get, nice you get little, some remains. Yeah. When you get the remains. Stuff them in my pocket. You put them in your pocket and you get uh, transported. <laughs> yeah. So just like when you beat the first temple, you are kind of transported into this like misty, foggy land with these giants just going, whoa. I'm gonna name you the sewing life video game player. <laughs> okay. Chris Tucker. <laughs> Wait, that's actually an actor. <laughs> grab the grab the heart piece first. Yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna reset time. If I go there. Ah, you got a heart container. Your maximum life energy is increased by one heart. You also get a full refill of life energy. Yeah! You don't even need it. You barely only lost one heart that round. Come on. Forget about it. Look at that. You got five hearts now. Dun, 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 dun. You've seized goat's remains. That's pretty cool. I like that, that face mask. Yeah. You've just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil goat. So there's a bunch of evil masks. Yeah. So describe this cutscene for me. Uh, like you said, it's kind of a foggy area. There's a bunch of pillars, and you're kind of staring up at this shrouded figure, yeah, uh, a giant um, that's kind of moaning, moaning speak a lot. And yeah. I think uh, Tattle at this point was like, "What guardian? Gu guardians? guardians? Yeah. Is that what you're saying?" And uh, Tattle infers that they're protector gods. Yeah. But if you're protector gods, like... Why are you in the temples? Yeah, what are you doing this for? And then they just What's leave. going on? Yeah. And she's just like, hey, what the fuck? Are you listening to me? Yeah. Get <laughs> no, back here. No, they're not, by the way. No. Ah, we got some bubble giants. Legs for days. Oh, what exactly are all of you? Guardians? Guardians? So, you're protective gods? That's why you're in the temples. But why are the protective gods... No, wait. Are you listening to me? Hey, wait. Bye. <laughs> That's a little interesting bit of good good. Yeah. Uh, that that ties back into the, the main storyline. Yeah. Yeah. With that, you made your way back to Clocktown, hit that owl statue, and saved the game. Chris, how are you feeling about today's episode of Majora's Mask? <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I bet. You look tired, buddy. I'm pretty tired, but I feel accomplished. Yeah. Um, It was... Probably because I didn't finish this temple on the last time I entered. This was kind of like a... Hanging over your head. Yeah, it was it was uh, my mountain. Yeah. That means water temple is one of probably only two other temples I can do next, so... Can't believe we're going to spend the next 30 episodes in Clock Town. Yeah, uh, I believe it, so... I do, too. Join it's going to be a great time. We're going to have a fun... We're going to have a fun... Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I, I feel... I'm feeling good. Um, I enjoyed this temple more than the Swamp Temple, I think. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think's going on with the giants and that cutscene and all that nonsense? So we've had another cutscene like that where we learned a little bit about the uh, the four who are there, bring them here, a uh, yeah. line from uh, from Tattle's brother, Tail. What's uh, what's going on with that? What is what are, what are we doing here? Well, you know, it would be really fucking metal. What's that? If Skull Kid split a god into four different parts oh to like kind of like how own. it did the fairy yeah except it was just like one god in four parts he was like hey you guys all fuck off out of here so that i can do my deeds yeah that would be pretty fucking cool that'd be pretty fucking cool uh but i don't know they seem linked to the temple somehow yeah, and it says when i beat these bosses that i like calmed or i like freed the spirit you freed an innocent spirit that was trapped in the malicious mask yeah. yeah so 
these are the other like I didn't expect there to be multiple evil masks, which I'm I'm considering Majora an evil mask. I think that's and it fair. seems yeah, these these uh, other spirits or bosses or whatever they may be seem to be snatching up these masks and it seems to be corrupting them. Yeah, it's not good. So yeah, I don't know I don't know what's going on with the bosses, but they they must be tied to Skull Kid. Skull Kid in some way. I would imagine the temple. If there's four gods and there's four temples, then that kind of makes that tracks with me. The tracks. Yeah. Yeah. I'd uh, say so. We'll see. It doesn't help that he kind of just fucked off and didn't tell me anything. No, no. But you know who will tell you stuff? People in Clock Town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think before Clock Town, though, I have a lot of exploring to do in the uh, Goron Village. Yeah, because uh, now it's all melted. Yeah. So it's not uh, it's not icy anymore. So you can kind of travel around easier and pretty fucking cool. See what's see what's under all that ice. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, look at that. It's all melty and shit. Ah, I bet there's a whole bunch to do here now. No, probably not. There's nothing else here. Ah, 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 frogs. Frogs. Frogs and hornets. Where are there so many frogs? It's a frog. What do you want? You just gonna go swimming with the frog? Yeah. Right. Is this all right? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you on Z target and get out of the fucking pool? Is this okay? Chris. What? Chris, please save, <laughs> save the game for the love of God. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a lot to still see in oh, this area. Oh, fuck ton. Do you feel like you did enough around the uh, swamp after you cleared it out to make sure you f- knew everything that was going on there? It didn't seem like a very big area, but I can definitely see a kind of second pass episode where I hit regions that I've already, ah, already been in. The greatest hits. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause there's definitely milk road, which is near swamp. So, uh, I'm going to try and check that out. Yeah. Uh, and I can probably hit the swamp at that point. I have to find the Goron that gives me the powder keg badge or whatever the fuck that yeah. is. Yeah. Whatever lets you use a powder keg. Yeah. You got to figure out how to get into the ranch. Yep. Uh, th- well, there's the giant boulder in the way. Is that yeah. what was there? Yeah. yeah. I think the powder keg will fix that for me. So everyone's evacuating there on day three. Do you think that's okay? Uh, There's a boulder in the way. There does seem to be a little bit of an inconvenience. Maybe they all have the Song of Soaring. I know I do. I think. What are you? What are you singing? Did you ever watch uh, the Camelot movie? Uh, Road to Camelot. Or... Quest for Camelot. Quest for Camelot. Oh yeah. hell yeah, I did. Yeah. Oh fuck, I need to rewatch that. It's been yeah. a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nat and I, my older sister Nat. And I used to watch the fuck out of that movie when yeah. I was a kid. That was a great movie. Me and Maria used to watch it. Oh, what a great film. Man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm yeah. feeling pretty good. Excellent. Accomplished. Uh, you did good today. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you uh, I'm glad you stuck with it. I know Thank it's you. probably pretty frustrating towards the end there, but uh, I think you kept a pretty pretty good attitude towards it. I mean, I'm always having a good time. I know. I mean, go back and listen to Cloud Strife in this Mansion of Secrets and <laughs> mansion you'll of butts understand that I know exactly the pain yeah, of yeah. just feeling like you should be able to do this thing and you can't but yeah. but yeah it's uh i think you did well uh and i'm glad we're through this now because uh i really want to spend some time in clock town again <laughs> it's all i care about yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah okay i'm sorry i like what i like what yeah, do you want no, from no, me that's fine yeah. <laughs> yeah you have any final thoughts for this episode of majora's mask chris i don't think so thanks for uh bearing with us uh, if you can think of a better way you'd like to hear the temple runs. Tem- temples are hard. Yeah, uh, I I could go for a uh, an advisory uh, from someone on on if they like this format or if there's something they think we could do better. Um, yeah. We're all ears uh, all the time, so feel free to reach out to us. Tweet us uh, at First Encounter Pod. What does a horse look like? Uh, at One ST Encounter Pod or uh, email us mail at First Encounter Podcast uh, Join our Discord. There's a link in the Twitter bio. Uh, any, 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 anywhere you can reach out to us, feel free. Yeah, please. Yeah, I think with that, thanks so much for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you. Thanks so much for listening to the First Encounter podcast. If you want the journey to continue, please support us at patreoncom first encounter Find our socials and contact info at firstencounterpodcast.com. Please stop by and say hey. Our intro and outro music is by Alden Zach. I'm playing through myself and I literally dumped Gretchen uh, yeah. into the hot spring this morning. And then I had the idea of what if I go and spend three days slowing down time and going to every place I've seen a fish, taking the fish and then just 
moving them all into the hot mm-hmm. spring water. <laughs> You're going to create a horrible heat fish. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a magma fish. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how familiar you are with like reoccurring bosses in Zelda, but like Volvagia, the fire dragon has been around since like the NES games. And, uh, Today we learned Volvagia's origin story, which yeah, you is you mean Gretchen. Dump, yeah, yeah. Volvagia is just Gretchen. Is just... Once you start dumping enough fish in there, one of them starts eating more of the others, yeah. and eventually it just yeah. yeah. I like how we could have gone breeding, but you said nah, it's eating. Yeah, breed yeah. little breed little eat. It's like how uh, Link eventually will ascend to thick fairy because of all the fairies he eats. He has to eat the final fairy. <laughs> yeah, thick fairy herself, please. <laughs> oh, anyway.